Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Persona 2, Jack and Daxter, Reset Collection, Zemu, and Simply Austin. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here with some pretty big news. We're talking about PSP emulation and Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. If you're a fan of Persona 2, if you haven't played Persona 2, well, you might like this news. There's a brand new English translation available for the game, and it's free. Now, before you even need to ask, yes, I'll drop a link to absolutely everything in the description below. I'm usually pretty transparent with my sources. It's available on GitHub, and once you're here, you will need a file called P2P EPV 1.0.zip. You will also need your own version of the ROM because this is just the patch, but it includes everything you'll need aside from the ROM. And your copy of Persona 2 will need to be in ISO format. You'll need at least one gigabyte of extra space in order to patch this game. And fortunately, patching is super simple and straightforward. Extract all of these files into their own folder on your computer, and then drag your ISO to patcher.exe and it should automatically patch and convert the game for you. And huge shoutouts to the entire development team for this patch. It's a pretty massive accomplishment. And speaking about huge accomplishments, next up here we're talking about Jack and Daxter. I think I've talked about this one a little bit in the past, but Jack and Daxter now has an unofficial PC port and Jack 2 and 3 are next. And for those of you who maybe want to learn a little bit more about this PC port, I'll drop a link to the GitHub in the description below. Yes, it's also free. And yes, they have a very robust instruction manual. In fact, there's even a 2 minute and 18 second video showing you how to do it. And I'll drop a link to that in the description below as well. And speaking about short things, next up here I have a short update for you about Zemu, or Xemu, the Xbox emulator. Two new versions of Zemu have just dropped, version 0.765 and version 0.766. Obviously you want to pick up version 0.766, at least at the time of filming. If there's a new one there, pick up that one instead. But basically here at a really high level, you get some performance improvements. You might not notice it, but they might be there. And speaking about performance improvements, next up here we're talking about Reset Collection, an emulation front end on Android. Now recently Reset Collection got a massive update, but some people were experiencing a crash on boot up. And you could argue there's a brand new release here with a arguable performance improvement because it no longer crashes on boot up. So if you are using Reset Collection, just make sure it's updated and you should be ready to go. And speaking about ready to go, next up here we're talking about Simply Austin. Simply Austin is back. If you don't know who Simply Austin is, I'd highly recommend checking out their channel. They deal a lot with emulation. It's a great channel, highly entertaining and they just released a brand new video about their top 10 emulators of 2022. I might not agree with everything in this list, but it sure is worth checking out. As most of you have probably already figured out, I'm a huge supporter of the emulation scene, so I'm glad we've got them back. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it's Jack and Daxter, Persona 2, Seamu, a reset collection or simply Austin? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.